me explain why you're there. This is scientifically based as a chemist you produced. And this is a natural product, so is not ma is not processed product. Gas is a natural product, is a new version of free atom. I tell you something a second. We promote you, we sell and we take all the risk and responsibility regarding distribution of this material across the world. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to see the logo of the Keshe Foundation. I give you the right, the copyright to the name and the signature right to the Keshe Foundation signature you carry. Gans Foundation is a copyright owner of the name Gans. And anybody uses the technology, anybody uses the name, you have to have a copyright rights from us. Anybody uses the logo of the Keshe Foundation, the way you see your SSI, from today you need our written agreement, written consent. We are the copyright owners and we have the registration right owners of the name. And I'm proud to see you carrying this name on. From today, the Cash Foundation will put this material for sale from Japan, Tokyo. And the condition is you are responsible for your own. We have registered the Gans name as a copyright name of the Keshe Foundation and yesterday we have received the rights to it. The logo of the Keshe Foundation KF with circles have been granted to us with registration. We possess it, we own it. We will enforce our name from this week. We have registered 21 names across the world and we give with pleasure to you the right to use this name, and I stand personally for its use. Yes. So, if you want to submit it for certification, any of you, any part of the world, we deliver you and give it to be certified in your own country. In the time of disaster, like in Fukushima, people who are in disaster condition, they have to have the right to save their lives. They have to have the right to be able to save their lives. They don't need the license. If you come across disaster in US due to earthquakes or whatever else, you don't wait for government to tell you you can use a gun or you cannot do. We will provide technology that you can shower yourself through and with it. We took our time, and this is what I said today. This is a pleasure to see. I tell you the reason why. Governments like Chinese government, Chinese, especially in, in the poor countries, in different parts of the world, where animals are slaughtered through different kind of flu for chickens or whatever, or dogs, we hear it now and then. This water can do the job without damaging the agriculture, without damaging the farmer. You can just add it to the water. This stops use of antibiotics and the other things in the animals without getting absorbed or damaging their toxicity. It is a huge change. This is correct, correcting some of the past problems and this is one of them. We are very simple, we asked TEPCO to release data. If you are Japanese, ask how the government of Japan has kept this technology away from its people, where the farmers are getting cancer and they wash and clean up the power station. You were wondering how the IEA is allowing TEPCO to start operating and different nuclear power stations are coming to operation, because they have the gas technology in their hand. It's a dietary element, and it is natural material. No one has a right to it, no one can copyright it, because we have taken the rights. Gans is a registered name, 
we own the registration. Magrav is a registered name, we own the registration. From now on, if you use any of these names, be sure you have received permission from the Keshe Foundation. It's illegal from today to use this name, if you don't have the permission from us. So, if you think you can make eyelashes and whatever, as you see here, that you can do and sell, if it's not supported with the R, with the Keshe Foundation, or the GANS, or whatever, we have the right to interfere. Mr. Kesh, know. we also, uh, we own the names keshfoundationgans.com, keshfoundationgans.net, and we also own kfgans and kf, kfgans.net and .com. I own the Cash Foundation GANS. No, and I'm talking about the website. He can yes, use the GANS, yes. GANS.org belongs to the Cash Foundation. I bought it. And I bought the other ones. I'm saying that he can use them. Yes, yes, we know. GANS.org GANS, GANS is... And we allow you to use this, uh, um, uh, whatever the Japanese nation has let you down, we don't. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. If we will put this as a sale material, with the conditions that you have to take the permission to enter it into your country, and we rely on TEPCO to provide the scientific material, because they are using it for two years. The trial has been done on the workers of TEPCO. Hopefully one day, one day they can release all the data and all the pictures. I, I hope one day release all the data what they have been doing there inside. Uh, yeah, so we can get credibility. It's not a credibility. We we already are credible. It's just how they try to discredit us, which is the problem for themselves. What I suggest to you, Mr. Khan, Keshe, Japan dot Keshe Foundation dot org yes. is your right to fill it in, as we spoke before. You are working in respect to the measurement tools. You have set up the Keshe Foundation company in Japan, and you're a shareholder in it. Set it up, we finance you produce this material for the Japanese in a way that they can use it to decontaminate their own lives. If it's good to be used inside TEPCO, it's good inside to be used outside TEPCO. This shows a conspiracy within the structure. It's irrelevant now that there is a solution. I think, as I said, if international press gets hold of what is on been described in past an hour or so by you, the resignation of the Prime Minister of Japan is on the card. He has betrayed his nation, led them to suffer with radiation and the rest. But believe it to international press, you try to get this section of the teaching onto the international press, and then we'll see the response. The technology being developed, tested, and belongs to humanity not to a few, to catch money out of it for United States. Now you understand why they produce so much anti, and anti-information about the Keshe Foundation. Because it is what it is, it's simple, it's in the hand and reach of the people, and in so many ways, we need it because it's the knowledge of space. In the space, you come across infections and radiation and you should be able to clean your body from it. And you see how simple it is. This information is over two years old, three years old now? Am more I correct? Mr. So? More than, more, two years. Two years. And it's been kept away from Japanese public. How many people would have saved their children by knowing they could give a drop of water and clean up the body of the child from cancer. Very simple. It just washes you out of your body, it doesn't stay inside your body. Who is responsible for this criminal act? Or can we go even higher to IAEA? Why IAEA has hidden this, not 
to be able to show upper hand in Iranian negotiations in nuclear. You do not understand the reasons for it, we know. It's a game played with our lives. It's the game played with all of our lives. It's a game they play to show they have the power to do what they like. When you shower your plants with CO2, any contamination which is produced by what you call chemtrails is washed off. When you feed your plant or your animal, any contamination it is washed off. A lot of you have a concern in respect to chemtrails, the chemicals which you say they spray. Start taking CO2 in the correct right measure, in a correct manner, you'll find out it'll be washed out of your body. This is not the magic, this is understanding the total knowledge of gravitational magnetic field, understanding due to the spectrum of the carbon and the oxygen in the plasma condition, they attract anything which is in the bandwidth of the total spectrum from carbon to oxygen plus combined. And this is the biggest discovery of the century, where simple man can help themselves. They said the biggest invention was a cartwheel, but in fact the new biggest invention, understanding the plasma as a Gans. It will change a lot, it will change the life of a lot of you. Next time, summer, winter, you have a flu, you know how many people die in Europe, because of the flu in the summer time, in the winter time, because they cannot receive and they're becoming immune to the older ones and so they have a problem. The success rate of influenza injections at the moment in Western Europe is between 20 to 30 percent and every year it reduces. With this, it will never reduce. No old man no young child should die of influenza anymore with the development of this technology. And all you need to ask is ask TEPCO. The tests are available with TEPCO. Yes, yeah, sir. So, um, besides TEPCO, yeah, the it's done is done and gone is gone. Yeah, so, well, the thing is, now we have the data, we can help the others and ourselves. Yes. This is the problem. What are we going to do? This has been a very big question mark. That people were saying that TEPCO is dumping radioactive materials into the sea. They are not dumping any radioactive material into the oceans. It happened. Now, they use the GANS material to dump, because they absorb the radiation. In fact, there is no difference between this and that one. Let me go through something, it's very important. Please stay online. I'm going to ask Mr. Khan, can you stop sharing the screen? I'm going to bring you back up. We have Benjamin from Ghana. Benjamin, can you come online, please? Can you tell us what you just received from the well, Ghana? Uh, against your authority, please. Okay, uh, so uh, from the report from the lab, um, they have found significant uh, number of E. coli, quantity, okay, let me say quantity of E. coli in the untreated, uh, polluted water. And then when they treated with the CO, um, the copper oxide, the let number me stop, has stop, 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 Benjamin, Benjamin, Benjamin. They have found significant amount of E. coli in the water which you brought from which river? From uh, river Pra and river of Fing. Okay, and what did you treat it with? I treated it with copper oxide. And what is the preliminary results from the lab? The primary result from the lab shows that after treatment, uh, the number dropped significantly. But uh, according to him, it's so, what do you call it, early to um, give 
the analysis because as at now they have a, a power cut at the lab so mm -hmm. he just as you, you 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 can see some he sent me a lot of pictures you know of uh, their results and he will like i told you before after the holidays they will be able to uh, bring the uh, documented evidence of their results uh, so that it can be shared or can be published online yeah so the as we saw with the Southern Union University uh, using a copper oxide GANs in the contaminated rivers has uh, cleaned up the Ebola or E. coli so this is in line we see this is a new health condition which is coming up a lot of people go sick because of this we see the report which is never published by TEPCO but is used by TEPCO uh, now we see in Africa second time confirmation now by the atomic energy authorities this shines a huge huge credibility on two organizations, worldwide organizations. One is World Health Organization, how they deliberately silenced this in, in uh, Sierra Leone, and the other one puts a huge question of credibility on IAEA, International Atomic Energy Authorities. We always had a doubt in their credibility, now there is not much left. Now we understand why it was done and how we can use it for our benefit. As I said today, we finished with the, a lot of things and the cleanup has started. This is important. What is on the table, what is to be shown is and belongs to humanity, not to any of us. A man which is just, you heard his voice, he's lost his income with two children because an Iranian nuclear physicist could not find, could not be the man who found the solution for the biggest nuclear disaster. Shame on the nation of Japan. How the leadership allows the people to die just to protect the hypocrisy which sits in the White House. To sell arms, to kill more, to create a false enemy. Now you see, none of us are each other's enemy. We work as one team. We work as one group. Openly data on the table. This literally seconds which comes off the lab. This is how we become one nation. And this is the beauty of it. Mr. Khan keeps on repeating, I've never been given the credit for what I've done. I've been given enough credit that the technology is getting used and the nation can go back into producing energy but the only shame is why not the citizen enjoying the fruit of the discovery can you distribute this material in japan on its own as it is mr khan can i distribute this material in japan yes most likely do you have, do you need a license for it? In order to sell it as a supplement in Japan, there is no license needed. So, please start producing it. Yes. You produce it, add it to the soap, washing up liquid, add it to the agriculture material, and let the Japanese nation to be free of it, because every cancer can kill. Radiation is a killing machine. We have the tools, go on the net, go on the television, we support you. But the thing is, what I'd like to do is, more than the radiation itself, I'd like to use it for like viruses or helping the other, the, because, because, by doing this, I already, I already crippled my life dealing with Fukushima and I don't like to sell it as a remedy for radioactivity which I'll be discredited, which I'll be attacked again in various ways. 
But like you said, it is a normal supplement. Let's say they are selling. We upgrading. know it. We I know it from the Cash Foundation website. The Japanese Cash Foundation support us is very deep. Yes. Wins, are you online? Okay. Take all the details and put this on sale on the shop immediately. We take the responsibility. Let us bring us down. At least we know where we go. Make sure it goes on it as a supplement. Is there? They need to get permission from their own country to import. Sure. Send all the details. We need a lot of data. Put the report with the mice into it that it can go on it as a scientific evidence. And you can quote TEPCO, I handle TEPCO, I have no problem. I'll approach my government immediately in the coming days to see how we can take this, make a report of this, please provide it to me immediately. Send it to my email and I'll submit it to my ambassador. And uh, we'll take it on with the Iranian government as a nuclear technology development. And we'll see what we can do, because a lot of people um, get damaged by exposure to nuclear materials. A lot of radiation workers. I've seen my father being affected by it. Now we have a solution. What about a lot of you who go for chemotherapy? And the damage of the chemotherapy is, in the, is literally untold. We would like to ask the doctors, I know a large number of doctors on the scene, can you please contact us and try this to see how we support the chemotherapy, because it does what it's supposed to do, but its side effects are not there, which is causing the damage. Can we use the CO2 to reduce the damages of the chemotherapy, that we can allow people to live a safe life? can be combined, when you're taking the chemo, the CO2 gans with it, that one does its job, and the other one cleans it. Um, Mr. Keshe, is it possible that by taking the CO2 gans, it could reduce the size of a tumor, so that the radiation and chemotherapy wouldn't even be required? Yes, Japanese, the Chinese research shows that direction of work. We need to, we need the support from China to get this. We have tested this in the past six weeks on a, a lymph cancer tumor in United Arab Emirates. We are waiting for the, Caroline, when is the scan due from the guy? Yes. Yesterday they've done the scan. So we'll have the news by Monday, hopefully Monday, Tuesday we'll get it. We know it reduces the size. I was going to, going to say that one important question that comes up right away and people are already starting to ask is, uh, what is the um, uh, lethal limit or how many grams of uh, GANs? We should be very right? little. We're talking very, very little. But we are not consuming the GANs. What we try to do, we know that the water of the GANs can do the same. I will talk to Mr. Khan to develop that side. That's the other biggest question that's coming through. People are asking whether to use the GANs itself or just the water of the GANs. At the moment, we recommend you to use the water of the GANs and then hopefully in the coming days we see, we will see a lot of opposition from a lot of pharmaceuticals. Because this literally, influenza injections brings millions and billions to, to, to these things. The other thing we have to watch can we, one of the biggest problems we have at this moment, we are injecting our children with what we call immunization. With the developed technology like GANS, do we need to put our children that a large percentage of the mercury damage become autistic and the life-life damage? Do we need to go through this process of damaging ourselves, our children with, the, with what they call immunization? <laughs> Do we need to bring these kind of processes that now we have found a solution for? What about when our nuclear engineers, when our radiation therapists get radiated? Can we just wash them with the water from CO2? 
can we create enough gas water that we allow the fishes before we eat to swim in it, that they get decontaminated, that we don't need contaminated fish. This opens a huge horizon, because it comes from the most reputable, most damaged uh, structure in the world, with a nuclear accident, which the maximum energy is. You have to understand, Stratinum 90 is one of the most lethal systems ever. That's why they could not get hold of it, could not solve it. That's why tritium was the biggest problem in the tanks, and we told them how to make gold out of it. That's why the Americans are sitting there with their company, because it rains gold in these reactors. This, uh, I'm getting a report, uh, just stand by. Benjamin, can you Thank come you. back online? Benjamin says the man from the lab is there to explain. Benjamin, can you come online, please? So, so one of the guys from the lab is here, and he wants to explain if you can only share some of the pictures that I sent. Uh, I tell you something very I strange thing happens. Uh, <laughs> we just received a message from Mr. Cansano. My computer shut down, does not turn on. Now you see how effective Japanese are at it. Mine also did the same. <laughs> When I was presenting. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, carry on. I will open I will open it for him from my uh desktop and then he can explain. Right, hello. Can you speak a bit louder please? Yeah, hello. Um <clears throat> I'm I'm Crab from the Atomic Energy Commission Lab. So we took samples um, from the water samples and we grow on a media. So in a petri dish. So um, the dark colored um, picture over there shows the raw water sample. And then the one with the transparent picture there shows the treated water. When you compare the two, the dark grow, uh, the dark colored petri dish shows a lot of colonies, a lot of E. coli colonies um, in there. And then the colonies too are bigger. They are bigger colonies. But when you also check um, on the treated water, the other petri dish, you could realize that the colonies are, are small as compared to that of the colonies of the raw water. And the one of the treated, the colonies are few, as also compared to the colonies of the untreated water. So this shows that the copper oxide minimizes the microorganisms in the water, uh, treated water sample solution. All right, so we have two petri dish over there. The one with the brown colonies, and then the one with some, the one with the transparent one. So the one with the brown niche color um, represents the raw water. Then the one with the transparent one represents the treated water. When you check the brownish color petri dish, you could realize that the colonies forming units are bigger, the colonies are bigger, and there are plenty there. The E. coli colonies are bigger, and there are plenty in that petri dish. But when you check the transparent one, the E. coli colonies are very small. The colonies are not, they are smallish in sizes, and they are not that much in there. They are scattered, but they are not much. But the raw water, the colonies are bigger, and they are clumpy. They are so much together in, in there. Yeah, so um, this shows that the treated water with the copper oxide minimizes the microbial activity in the water and it will not if, um, give any effect when it's being ingested into the body. So this is what I found out in the laboratory. What does this exactly mean now? 
when we treat the water with the uh, copper oxide? Yeah, which means that it reduces the number of microorganisms in the water, in the raw water sample. Because looking at the brown petri dish and the transparent one, you could see clearly that the brownish, brownish colored um, petri dish contains much colonies of the E. coli. And then the transparent one contains lesser colonies of the E. coli. So when you treat with copper oxide, it minimizes the microbial activity in the water sample. So does that mean that if we put the water through the second process with copper oxide, would that bring this one totally below the level? Or is it already below the level standard for international levels? Yeah, we are here to check for the international levels. To, so by Tuesday, we will finalize everything to check whether um, they are below the international levels or they are within the international levels. Uh, but according to your experience, how much better is what we see data-wise from what we see now physically? Yeah, so according to my experience, um, the growth over there in the transparent one, it should be, the colony should be small, and then they should scatter. So which shows that they are within um, acceptable limits. Yeah. So in a way by... What is the cause of these E. coli in the water? Is it because of the animal excrement and washing live animal in it? It may be because, uh, what do you call it, uh, apart from people, maybe people eat themselves also in the bushes. So, as I shared in my first uh, presentation, uh, sediments that are washed from the soil end up, you know, uh, polluting the water and thereby, you know, breeding E. coli in the water bodies. So, I mean, it can be a contributive factor that the way people eat themselves in the bush and, you know, uh, from also uh, the killing of, or washing of animals and washing of even, some people even stand in the river and then bath, you know. Uh, that is something that, that is I saw, but you, you, you cannot do, uh, for me, in my position, I cannot do anything about it, you know, but we have to, you know, keep on announcing or bringing the, creating the awareness that these things are not, you know, good for water bodies like that, so. Yeah, that but can I ask, factor. can I ask a vital question? By, okay, uh, we, we, this is good, we cannot do all the rivers, but by using CO2, do we take all the good and the bad out of the water? We just have a liquid. Do you know what I mean? Are we taking everything with this process? Yes, um, I think I think we can take majority of the uh, microorganisms. So, as in the treatment, we have to check the level of the guns at which the growth can be taken. Let's say if we take 30% of the copper oxide to do the treatment, at which percentage of the growth can be removed? Let's say if 50% can be removed, can remove all the microorganisms, then we use 50%. If 70% can remove all the, so we have to check the percentages at which we use the copper oxide to treat the water. So it will depend on the percentages or the percentage of the copper oxide we use of the water. Okay, uh, so so what we going to get is um, cleaning up, but effectively cleaning up, but to the point that the water is totally pure with without any sediment. It's just the water. Am I correct? Okay. Uh, what yeah. happened was that when I took the sam when I took the samples to the lab, 
Daniel actually shook the, what do you call it, the, the treated water. So the sediment was mixed up with the, what do you call it, uh, the, uh, it was mixed up like before. And then I asked him why, we, because I, um, I thought he would only collect the surface, you know, some, uh, uh, clean water to treat. But he said, no, let's do it this way. Another time we can only collect the top layer of the uh, water and then treat it that way. So that's how come even we find a lot of, uh, what do you call it, E. coli even in the, uh, E. coli trace in the treated and then the plenty in the untreated. So that is how come. But next time I will recommend that he just skim the surface of the water and then um, uh, treat it or culture it and see how significant the upper layer will, you know, um, the result that the upper layer will give um, and see also. So what can we do? What we do, we, we wait till next Thursday. Please check yeah, your next... column data with everything. Because what we're going to do, we're going to submit this for a, for a, what do you call it, as a standard yeah. for the Keshe Foundation on our website. Because we set up a new standard without the cuts. Uh, so, as we've done okay. up to now, I just received something very, very interesting. It's come from <laughs> German Manufacturing of the Keshe Foundation. Uh, it says, we as a German group will fully support the production of CO2 and market it as a supplement. Greeting. So, <laughs> we see the process and we will support this move uh, because a lot of people need it. Please, Benjamin, uh, do a little bit of groundwork. Yes, sir. Do a little bit of groundwork before you come up with the presentation next week. Check all the data that they read, yes, not just because they are typed. Mm -hmm. And we leave it on the website of the Cash Foundation mm -hmm. as the, what you call, testimonial from the Atomic Energy Authority of Ghana. Mm -hmm. This is a fantastic news. Let's see what else comes. We knew this from, uh, from Sierra Leone, South Sierra Leone University. We're going to put you in touch with them. I'm going to put you in touch with the professors in South Sierra Leone University with the Vice okay. Chancellor there, who's a friend of the Foundation, and uh, we'll see how we can take this across whole Africa. Thank you. Thank you very much for your work. You're, you're a, what I call a uh, well, treasure I'm, to have. I'm stop, I'm stop, I'll stop sharing my screen, so. Thank you very much. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you, Professor. Uh, uh, any, anything we've seen today, as I told you, we have gone into the cleanup. We clean up the religious people, that there are no more any. We use the gans of the will of God on them. Now we use the gans of uh, CO2, and we've seen with Fukushima, we've seen now coming from Ghana. From now on, we just keep on submitting and delivering new technologies which has changed the, the past. This is not our job in the Keshe Foundation. It's our job as a Keshe Foundation worldwide. You're doctors, you're scientists, you are people who can make the difference. Take up the position, take up the list, and take up the whole understanding of the technology and support the Keshe Foundation and support the whole structure to change for the messes we've created. It's us who's got to move, not waiting for somebody to do it for us. We waited long enough that they abused us. As I said very recently, I'm proud to be human being, because I'm proud to be Iranian. I'm proud to be part of the humanity when he helps each other to the best of his ability. But it's shame when we see how financial positions dictates the condition of the life of the others. 
what will be interesting is, now that we have disclosed this, if you people who are there, this section of TEPCO, seg segmented and delivered it to all the Japanese companies, Japanese Cash Foundation, Japanese Internet con or Connection, and let it go free on the Internet with it. I wonder how much more is sitting in the background with other organizations who are taking and developing our technology. As I always told you, we as a group, people who sit around the Keshe Foundation, can do so much. We have limited restriction in finances we can do, governments don't have. You have to realize something very interesting. You live in the west coast of the United States, and you say you received all the radiated fish, which is coming there, you won't eat. Make yourself copper oxide gas, put it in the water, stir it, let it settle. Take the water, put your fish in it, let it swim in it. Let it rest in it, and you rest ashore, you take all the radiation which came from Fukushima floating to you. This is not for abusing, this is for using it the correct way. If you live in a contaminated area, radioactive contaminated area, chemically contaminated areas, now we see there is a solution. Do not consume it. Let us, that's that organizations around the world come to it and that it can they come with it. Consume the water. We know one thing, a large dosage over one milligram is too much. Far too much. It's a powerful structure. It's a source of energy, so you have to watch, you have to understand how much is going to be done, and how much needs to be done. A lot of you are producing a lot of these materials. A lot of you are producing pens and pads and the rest. But, you have to understand one thing, is, how much would we like to do this? Can we change the course? Can we create a new course without fighting? I told you, it's easier to work than fight, and now you've seen it. But we needed to release this knowledge today, in different shape or form. Because, all of us are going to be affected by... the radiation. All of us have been affected by radioactive material. We have no choice. We have no choice but to look for the avenues where we can support ourselves, where we can make the change, where how we decide can bring the change. 